Hello and welcome. Happy World Ocean Day. My name is Stephen and I'm so excited to join you all and help you celebrate our amazing blue planet on this special day. I work for the Marine Conservation Society, a UK-wide community of ocean lovers, all working together towards a cleaner, better protected, healthier ocean. One that we can all enjoy. This World Ocean Day will explore what makes a good blue human and how you can become an ocean optimist. I'll share some positive ocean news stories before introducing some activities to explore the ways you can all make a difference. The ocean gives us so much, and as ocean lovers, we can all give back. Let's watch a video to find out more. What did the ocean ever do for us? We all know the ocean is really big, but does it really make a difference to our lives? Let's think about this for a moment. Did you know that every second breath you take comes from the ocean? That's because it's full of tiny plant-like organisms called phytoplankton, which produce about 50% of the oxygen we breathe. Not only that, but the ocean is also central to the water cycle, which provides us with fresh water to drink. So that's two of the major things humans need to survive, oxygen and water. Our climate on Earth is also controlled by the ocean. As ocean currents move heat around the world, As the ocean covers 70% of the Earth, it's vital to international trade and travel. Most of the big items in your home, things like washing machines and even cars, have probably been transported across the seas from where they were made. Worldwide, the ocean provides an important source of food and medicines. And many people make a living from the ocean too. As well as all of this, simply being near the ocean is great for our health and well-being. When we spend time at the beach, playing, building sandcastles or simply eating an ice cream, we're happier and more relaxed. So, does the ocean really make a difference to our lives? The ocean is vital to us. We are all connected, no matter where we live in the world. What will you do to make a difference? Wow, the ocean does so much for us. And on top of all this, it's also home to an incredible diversity of life. No matter where you live in the world, you will find a colourful collection of creatures just under the surface of your local blue space. Now, let's dive in and meet the locals, who call the ocean home, in the place that I live, the UK. Let's take a moment to explore this illustration before the answers appear. How many do you recognise? Can you think of a similar species where you live? Can you name them all? Or do you have any fishy facts about what you can see?
only a few seconds remaining. Great work, well done. You'd all make excellent marine biologists. Some brilliant ID skills and fun facts from you all. Now that we're a little more familiar with the marine life that can be found in my corner of the world, let's see some of them in action. Our ocean is amazing. We've explored the reasons why we should protect it. Now let's look at how we can protect it. There are plenty of things that we can all do, but sometimes it can feel like we're too small and that we can't possibly make a difference. However, even small changes can make a huge difference. Let's watch this short story. And then afterwards, let's think about some actions that we can all do that have a positive impact on our ocean. A great storm had caused thousands of starfish to become stranded along a beach. The tide was going out and they didn't have long before being baked by the sun. A little boy was picking them up, one at a time, and throwing them back to the sea, when he was approached by a man. The man said to the boy, Why are you doing this? There are thousands of starfish. You're never going to be able to save them all. There's no point. You won't make a difference. So the little boy paused for a moment, in thought, before picking up another starfish and hurling it into the sea. He looked up to the old man and said, I made a difference to that one. Now it's time to think about some actions that have a positive impact on our ocean. If you're stuck for ideas, you can head over to the Marine Conservation Society website for inspiration. Here are some examples. It's important to recognize that even small actions can and do make a difference. So let's get thinking. Make a list of all the things you already do, considering the positive consequences for our ocean. This will come in handy later.
Only a few seconds remaining. This is Ocean Optimism. Thank you for taking the time to explore what makes a good blue human. The world is full of ocean optimists, all passionate about making a difference. Let's have a look at some success stories in a positive ocean news story roundup. My positive ocean news story involves a small change, but one that has had a big impact. Recently, I switched out my plastic toothbrush for one of these, a wooden bamboo toothbrush. Did you know that dentists recommend we change our toothbrushes roughly every three months? Potentially that's a new toothbrush four times a year. If I kept buying a plastic one, that's over 300 bits of plastic that could end up in landfill during my lifetime alone. My wooden toothbrush is biodegradable, helping to reduce the amount of plastic in the environment. A simple change, but a big win. Now it's time to complete your very own Ocean Manifesto. A summary of the actions you're going to take to continue being ocean friendly. This will help you to share your ocean action ideas from the activity earlier and inspire everyone to take action. Everything you need to get started is in the School Ocean Manifesto resource download, including instructions and a handy template that you can use to create your own ocean manifesto. There are even some examples to help you. Please use the remaining time in your lesson to get inspirational. Don't forget to share your Ocean Manifesto with Pride on social media and tag us too. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you've enjoyed finding out more about our blue planet and the things that you can do, no matter how small, to make a difference. This World Ocean Day, there is no better time to take action for our ocean. So, display your Ocean Manifestos with Pride and join the next wave of ocean optimists. See you next year.